problem solving using similarity. So we're going to be using the tests and some other things we know about similar figures, especially similar triangles, in order to solve some problems. So the Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world. It's in Dubai, in the Middle East, in a country called the United Arab Emirates, or UAE. And we could even measure, or not measure, we could even determine the approximate height of this building by using similar triangles. Drawing in a couple of triangles, we have uh, the big red triangle, which goes down to ground level, out to a certain point. We take a hypotenuse coming down the side there, you can see it come down, it goes down to that point. We find another object a shorter distance away from this bottom point, along the ground, and then straight up, like this crane, I've drawn over the top of the crane that was there. If we know the height of the crane, and we know the distance away from the point, and if we also know the distance from that point out to the ground underneath the building, or just at the bottom of the building, we can find, with similar triangles, a good estimate for the height of the building. However, let's look at how tall Chris is. We'll start with smaller. How tall is Chris? So we've got a rough picture over here. There's, there's Chris. Okay. He's a bit hollow as you can see, and beside Chris is a big stick stuck in the ground. We can work out Chris's height if we know the distance from a point out to the stick and from that same point out to Chris. So we're going to use our reciprocal mass teaching problem solving steps. You must use a series of good reliable steps when you solve a problem. These are good steps, so let's use them. First step is predict. So, well, it's pretty easy to predict that Chris's height is going to be greater than one meter. Okay, so we have um, a stick in the ground which is supposedly sticking straight up and Chris is standing straight, ca causing right angles in both drawings you see there, one on the left, one on the right. It's pretty um, reasonable to expect that the answer is going to be bigger than one meter. If we don't get an answer bigger than one meter, we've done something wrong. The other thing too, people are normally between one meter and two meters tall. So you're going to get something bigger than one meter and it shouldn't be, shouldn't be bigger than two. And if it's bigger than two meters, it shouldn't be much bigger. We are looking at this. So we know, uh, based on the introduction, we know we're going to use similar triangles, which means scale factor because we know our work. So to clarify a bit more, which means we need to get a clear idea in our heads of what um, we've got given to us, what we've got to find, and to clear up anything we're uncertain about. Well, there's no words or terminology that we're uncertain about, but basically we might clarify here by drawing a better diagram. So we're used to seeing similar triangle drawings like this. right angle there and the smaller triangle is inside the big triangle and it shares this common point and common angle down here if we bring all of those dimensions over we've got point 0.8 there we have 0.8 meters 1.2 meters across the bottom we've got top of Chris's head will be over here. We've got one meter is the height of the stick. We have to assume that it's perfectly straight and sticking perpendicularly out of the ground creating another right angle here. Chris is doing the same and H will let H be let H equal Chris's height. That's what we've got to find. And we know we need to use similar triangles. Well, what have we been given? All of those dimensions there, we've got the two corresponding sides given. We've got one of the vertical sides 
and we need to find the other vertical side. How do we show that they're similar? Well, we need to use one of the four tests. We can use AAA, Y. We have a shared angle there, angle 1, so that's A. We have both of these equal to 90 degrees, so they're the same. And if two out of three angles of a triangle are the same, the third angle's got to be the same because they have to be adding up to 180 degrees. So we have definitely got similar triangles there, and we've got AAA. So how do we find H? Well, we find the scale factor. So that's what we've got to find now. So we find the scale factor and apply it. So we know what to do now. All we have to go and do is solve. Let's solve. Okay, so the scale factor. Scale factor equals, what's the rule for it? The image length. over object length. Substituting those numbers in for the corresponding sides and we get 1.2 divided by 0 0.8 we have a scale factor of 1.5. To find H we apply that same scale factor uh, with the height so we have the two corresponding vertical measurements we've got H and 1. So we know that we thought about this, we know that Chris's height will be bigger than 1. We go scale factor, so H is a scale factor times 1 metre, because that's the metre of the, the length of the stick, 1 metre. So that's 1.5 times 1, which is 1.5. So Chris Spelt Chris wrong. Chris is 1.5 metres tall. Quick reflection. Does that seem reasonable? Well, we, it's a bit like closing the circle because when we predicted, we predicted that it should be between 1 and 2 metres and 1.5 is between the two, quite in the middle in fact, and it is in that expected range. So basically it's a reasonable answer because it's in the expected range so you can see how predict opens the circle we go through clarify and solve and then reflect we check if our answer is reasonable and we've closed the problem-solving circle now you're ready to solve some problems of your own